Hey there. Um, w one of the uh, I know that I've addressed this issue in many different uh, videos in different ways. Um, but the reason I'm bringing this up now at this point in time is because so many channels on the phones, on YouTube, Rumble, etc., uh, and including movies, billboards, newspaper publications, actually the entire visual mathematics laboratory, right? Lab, L-A-B. So I'll mention one word, which is called an ANK, an A-A-A-N-K-H, like H in hydrogen. H two O right water vapor breath of aloha and ank is a key K E Y K potassium sodium ions kickstart the magneto E like electric Y like on a Y flux capacitor right Female, male, frequency modulation, crystal spiral radio sets, right? Avatars, audio video, audio video, codes. And so this is all related, okay? Um, but in this particular case, I was just watching something that actually already happened because things happen so fast. Most people are living in a time loop using these phones because when you're viewing something because of the feedback of artificial intelligence, which is dead light or not living light, is not going to be as fast as living light, which is eternal light, when you get the message. Okay. Uh, so in this case, we uh, we were talking about missions, mission status. Remember the old show called Mission Impossible? Love makes everything possible. Eternal love makes everything possible when it comes to healing or going back in time to no time, right? And how it is I've always healed because of all the transmutation of everything you know that you're connected to that represent fake timelines and how to collapse them, right? And you get into the Mandela effect, right? Deja vu, hey, I've already experienced that. I call it a shakeup. And I was experiencing those a lot when I was in Reno, Nevada between 2016, 2018, which were critical years 20, 2016 to 2019, because I went back there after I went to the Big Island here. But I was listening to uh, Jessica Morocco, who is, a, a, if you will, a seer. She's able to see through things, much like cats can see things with their eyes that other humans can't see with their eyes, right? As if when you understand phasing in and phasing out, you things that may not be visible to one person with their holographic visual data, mathematical codes, eyeballs, that others can see, right? And so um, a gentleman by the name of Tino that has a channel called Galactic Talk, uh, they were talking about Kruger, right? So I know the name that is associated with the general, okay, who was an SS general uh, during World War II, part of the Nazi regime, and who they're aligned with, okay, with, if you will, what they call dark fleet. So this is sort of where the rubber hits the pavement for me, because this is true for any what I call informer or information giver that you see on the visible light spectrum, in which they will share information about their experiences. And the way that I translate that is the energy that they're using at the moment that those circuits open and close, what they become aware of or what's held in RAM, which is cellular memories, or their record, which are the recordings of what they've experienced, that they thus share, right? And then I would say, if I'm not holding that in memory of something that I'm experienced, I have no direct evidence to validate what you were saying one iota. So you're simply sharing with me what it is you're aware of at the moment that you're aware of at the closing and opening of those circuits will I thus become aware of. 
Then I'm going to measure that against one standard, which is the law of one, which is what love is that goes on forever. That's it. Because you realize the density at which you operate down here is like in, at, at the bottom of the tree trunk. Okay, so you know there's it goes way up. So I realize as a child, do not expect a lot down here if you think of between lower creation and higher creation, because I know that through my heart and my soul, what eternal light is, which is eternal love is, which is my home, because that's what I experience being what I am an energy with my soul and my spirit. That becomes a frame of reference. Everything else that you experience as a result of your mirror, experiencing the mirror, what somebody else communicates with their magnet, becomes what you learn through them, what they've experienced, what they say they've experienced, and what's been held in RAM. Now we get into false memories, programmed into memories, and whether they know that what they experience is in their memories, whether that's true or not. So the only way they can know that that's true, that they have to validate it within themselves, is whether or not that memory is informing them of whether or not that is an original memory or whether that memory was put there because they have the ability to do that through holographic inserts, which is no different than cut and paste or editing a part of the film that you were in because you're a, vor a vortex torsion and field browser. All right. Now we're back into code exchanges and where how things get programmed and reprogrammed and erased and reprogrammed, which means changing out the software that you've operated between systems, if you will, going from one costume or from one avatar to another one or multiple ones that you're occupying with the energy because of how much energy is represented by what your soul is. Now we get back to consent, free will consent, and whether or not you would choose to use any of your energy Okay, on behalf of something that does not represent the law of one. Now we get into free will consent of weaponized consciousness, or if you will, energy that's being used in which what they experience in their mirror is war. Which means now you're in, if you will, force against force, energy against energy, kinetic energy or spiritual energy, energy that spirit is in, using that energy to do what? So I use my energy to purify, okay, which is to purify the spirit, which is to purify the light, which essentially means to bring it back to the law of one, which is what love is. That's what I do, okay? So therefore, I have one standard, one metric. If it doesn't represent what love is, then it's not what the law of one is. Therefore, it's against the law, okay? That's a standard. That's one standard, that's one law, which is the law of fear, which is the center point of a cross, which means the law of spheres, which is the law of least effort, go with the flow, you're in a state of peace, you're in a state of balance, you're in a state of love with all creation. Okay, that's a standard. So when I hear, for example, all these other experiences that a lot of people have said, whether they've been part of the Mars colony, they've been on Jupiter, when I've heard and, and met on on the phone in the sense that he's on the phone because I'm experiencing my mirror with his mirror communicating to us of who he is and everything that he shares about what he's aware of that he's sharing as a video. Now we all know because we've been there for, for, for that I can make, I can go out to Hollywood, for example, sit down with a mogul there and say, listen, let's produce something. And it clicks while well, I can make a mountain of money off that because it's an idea planted in somebody's head. Because the perception that power, the perception of power that others have, as a result of what they realize that they can produce or generate on the visible light spectrum that can be experienced by others, therefore that represents a lot of money, because through them, their perception of power is the actual wish, acquisition of more electrons. Instead of being a photon, right, or being a powerful magnet where the soul is kicking out electrons which is free energy, see? So what I do is I navigate through these informers, which are these beings that are conscious and aware of who they are no matter where they come from, and they come on a radio or they come on a, a TV station or a laptop or a cell phone, and then they communicate to you what it is that in their mind, they're sharing with you what it is that they know or they've experienced. I have no way to validate that. So what it means is, is that you are the one, me, 
or anybody else that sees this video has a choice because it's your free will choice to give consent to believe whatever you want to believe. Particularly if you've never experienced it, right? Because the experience is going to get recorded nevertheless unless you can delete it and uninstall it because it doesn't represent what love is. So therefore, that's your life book, right? If you truly have your free will, you are the ultimate decider of what you give consent to, to be recorded on your record, okay, as being something that you of your own free will consent want to experience. Otherwise, somebody else is imposing their experience on you that doesn't represent what love is. So if you are what love is and say, I don't want to record that in RAM because it's not a legitimate experience that I'm having because of the result of what somebody else is communicating that doesn't represent what love is, which is what you are, then you have the free will right for somebody else that is imposing their communication on you, whether you want that in your story or not. Right? Now you begin to understand how different people who communicate the energy that they are by the experiences that they're having why it is that different souls are on different journeys to do what it is that they're experiencing because the universe is that intelligent by being connected to everything that is intelligent and energy and the creative mode that we have, which is what love is, the differences that are among us by what we experience. And that's why I've always realized since I was a child, I'm on fire to learn. I love to experience what I'm learning in my mirror because I realize I'm connected with everything that is within all of creation. So we're learning through all the others that are communicating what they are with us. So when I was four years old, there's one metric, one law. That's it. So it is not what love is. And that's sort of how the translation of what we call, which is a first law nation or a first law star nation, a star, a real star, a real star, like the center of a sphere that is burning hot and goes on forever, gifting you electrons. OK, then imagine if you were in a star system or a planet ship where you were experiencing nothing less than what love is wherever you went. Right. Then you wouldn't ever be experiencing any war. You would only be experiencing what love is because that's energy. That's a frequency. Right. And that's the law. So now you begin to understand the differences between all of us as to who we are and why we communicate what it is we've learned through our experiences that are in our mirror that get recorded magnetically. See, so when I was listening to all the information, because I did take some time, but I don't spend a lot of time over there because so much of what was represented by the information that is there that is informing us of what they say that is present within the construct or within this particular universe that they believe that is there because they're informing you using their information, which is energy, informing us of what they're experiencing because the information in a visual way or the mathematical codes are informing you of that. That doesn't mean that I am forced, forced, the X side, forced to have to experience that if I don't want to experience that. So this is where you get into the difference between the universe is learning more about itself, who is in that universe that is communicating with everybody else that is within that universe of energy, which represents creation, and the acceleration rate at which that connectedness, those neurons are communicating with each other that no longer want to live in a universe that is not at peace with itself. So that would be the acceleration of neurons and consciousness, which is energy, that is choosing to live and recreate a universe that is in love with itself because they have learned how to become what love is through their magnets, which are their mirrors, where we become a reflection of each other through the energy that we are, that we share with each other, that we create a universe with. That's called a universe that's getting its act together. And I know that because I experienced that. That means there are a lot of very high-speed magnetic drives of soul consciousness that are choosing to do that to end all Star Wars once and for all time. I know that because I experience that, because I get that communication through the light, which is eternal light, which, if you will, is eternity, would be atom. The atoms that cycle at the highest rate of speed, because that energy seeks to be what? In a state of balance. 
That's consciousness, energy that is aware of itself, that is seeking to be in balance with all creation that it's giving love to. Have a great day. I love you all. Be good to yourselves.